and welcome to this video. In this video, we're going to talk about how you might have been using QuickBooks for the last year or so, and now it's your time to get that information over to your accountant. Well, what do you need to get prepared? How do you make sure your accounts are all ready and waiting to go? Well, that's what this video is all about. So if your year ends coming up and it's time for you to get those dreaded accounts over to your accountant, well, this is the perfect video. We're going to go through and we're going to tell you exactly how to prepare QuickBooks. And also, I've got a nice little free resource for you to help you make sure that you have confidence in what you're doing. Let's have a look. I told him I can be a fighter if you want. I'll be there to catch you if you fall. I can make it brighter when it's dark, when it's dark. I told him I would do it all for you. And I know you do it for me. Hello, my name is Aaron Patrick. I am a chartered accountant, a certified UK trader with a fancy new logo. That QuickBooks chap on the internet and also head of account over at Boffix. Being an owner of an accounting firm, I do have to request quite a few times of my clients to let me know that it's ready for them to do their year-end accounts. Now, the way we do it is we provide them with a nice little checklist and this exact video so that they know exactly what's required of them before they send that information over to us. And this is exactly what you'll be needing to do for your accountant as well. So let's go straight into it and find out exactly what we need to do with QuickBooks Online so that we're ready to bring all our information over to our accountant. Well, first of all, if you ever notice on any of my videos, you'll know there's this link tree just here. Click it on there. Gives us a chance to go through into our resources area, QuickBooks Resources and Guides. And from here, I've got a load of free resources and some approved paid for resources as well. But the one we're interested in today is year end checklist. From there, you confirm to get yourself into a Google Sheets account. And then you have the option to make a copy for your very own year end checklist. Which looks very similar to this. Now, the whole point of this checklist and what we're looking to do here is on the left hand side, we're going to put what are called our trial balance. I'm going to show you that in a moment. And then we have a little checklist to complete in the middle. On the right hand side, if you want to, you have the option of putting a profit and loss comparison as well. So, first of all, what's the trial balance? How do I get to it? Well, from QuickBooks, go to reports, reports. If it's not already in your favorite section, then head down here to your accountant section and you'll see there's an option there called trial balance. Now all the trial balance is, is effectively a breakdown of everything that's in QuickBooks. So what you need to do here is make sure you're putting the right year end in. So we scroll up to the top, we go and we click in here and we go for last financial year. If that's not coming up as the right year end, then just use these custom elements there. Run report. And this is going to form the basis of what I'm going to work from. So I'm now going to do export, export to Excel. I'm going to grab the data that's in here. All I need is the information before debits and credits. Put that over. And put this into my copy over here. So what that's done is that's put a line in my sand. That's me saying that these are the figures I'm going to be working with to make sure that I'm happy with everything going forward. Now, the idea here is we've got a bit of a traffic light system. And the idea is that you take the traffic light going through these particular transactions and just put in to say if you can reconcile them, can't reconcile them, or if you think there's an issue. Now, the idea of reconciling them is what we're going to move to now. So one of the key parts of QuickBooks is the fact that you can connect your bank account to QuickBooks. And that gives you confidence that everything's correct. Now, just looking at this screen here, this NatWest account looks perfect to me. My bank balance is right. My bank balance is right. And my in QuickBooks figure is the same. So to me, that's probably giving me confidence that's right. On the Revolut account, I seem to have an issue. And on the business bank, I have a further issue as well. How do I really get ready with this? Well, I'm going to grab a bank statement. I'm going to go to go to bank register and I'm going to use this option up here called reconcile. From here, we've done a whole video on how to reconcile your bank. And again, the reconciliation process, you saying that this bank statement you've got here agrees to what's in QuickBooks. 
Because if you think about it, if the same figure is in your bank as in QuickBooks, that's a really confident way of being able to understand that everything's in the right place on QuickBooks. So back on our checklist, we can see the business bank account, and we've got our Revolut account and things like these. If I'm happy they're reconciled, I can put a nice little green tick next to them. I'm happy with that one. I'm not happy with this one so far. There's an issue with it, but I'm happy with this bounce back loan and I'm happy with this NatWest account. And I'm basically going through ticking the ones I'm happy with. Okay, from the reconcile area, I pick what bank account I wanna reconcile. So let's say the business bank in this case. So let's say NatWest in this case. Then I can put the balance that I'm expected to see. So I'm gonna read it straight off my statement. And my statement is saying 1,500. I press today's date or the date that I want to be doing it for. Press start reconcile. From here, you'll get to see that this is QuickBooks trying to reconcile it for you. Now it's gonna put these ticks into place. If these ticks all come back to a cleared balance and a statement ending balance here, and you get a no difference there, then you're good to go. So how that will look is if I put press save, if I get this tick here and I'm good to go, then we're done. That's it, your account has been reconciled. Press that finish now button and you're good to go. If though, like me, and you don't have a tick in there, then my advice would be to untick everything, grab yourself your statement and go through ticking all the transactions as they appear on the statement itself. When you find an issue, that's when you can click into it, edit, adjust it, and fix it from there. But you only want to put ticks into transactions that appear on the bank account itself. Now on the checklist, there's gonna be other accounts there. And basically every account that you see here, what you wanna be doing is you wanna be making sure that that account feels right. Remember, this is at the year end. So I've got my eBay control account here. Was it right that I was owed £4.78? I've got my Petty Cash account. Now at this point, my Petty Cash account is negative 134487. So there's definitely an issue there. Definitely something I've got to fix. Now, you may not be able to fix these particular issues. If not, first of all, reach out to your accountant, they'll be able to fix it for you. If not, don't be afraid to reach out to Boffix as well. We do MOTs, we do cleanups, and we can get all of those accounts looking spick and span for you. Retained earnings or retained profit balance brought forward. Either one of these, this is gonna be a cutoff point. You don't wanna go any further than the figures down there because then you're moving away what's called the balance sheet into the profit and loss and you can't really go through and agree those balances as easy. But the rest of the numbers up here, you should be able to have confidence in what those numbers are. Again, this is your business and you're trying to make sure that everything's right. So for example, I've got here 16,000 pound worth of net wages. Is that right or is that wrong? By the looks of it, that doesn't look quite right to me. And then I've also got here 19, and then I've also got here 97 pounds worth of national insurance liability. That's exactly what I've got to pay next month. So I'm happy that that's been reconciled. We give you the option here to put comments and what date they were reconciled to and what the balance should be. That's there to just give you confidence in what you're looking at. Now, if you haven't got these fixed, no problem. When you send this over to your accountant, at least they're going to understand at what point you were confident with and what point you were. We then give the chance to put your business name and your year end in and also let people know if there's any missing information. If you're aware of anything that's not there, then let it know here because this is just going to give us some idea of what to expect in the account. And then the final checklist. I've tried to keep this really straightforward. If you don't, ha don't get a chance to do this bit, this is the bit you need to do as a bare minimum. This bit here is a really nice to have, great for the accountant. This bit over here is exactly the same, but looking at the profit and loss, we don't need that one. But what we do need to have is this little checklist section jumped on here. So the first one, are all banks reconciled? Well, we've just gone through that. Remember how important it is, the idea that you're saying that the amount that's in QuickBooks is the same amount that's on your bank statement. That's a huge important step. If those two figures are the same, we know we're into a really good time in terms of getting your account correct. After that though, two other questions that I always, always ask clients is to go and have a look at your trade debtors. Now the best thing to do that is use QuickBooks itself, go to your customer section, and where it says overdue balance, bring this up. Or you can use your money bar up here, but either way, you wanna show exactly how much is there. And you wanna do it on today's date. 
And what you want to be doing is being critical of it. These figures here, do your customers still owe you this money? If they do, jump into each one of them. And see where it says add note? Say balance agreed and today's date. That then shows that you've looked at this balance and you're happy that this balance is right. If it's not, again, reach out to your client. If the balance isn't right, have a look at one of my previous videos where we talk about 10 things I wish I knew about QuickBooks beforehand. In there, we go through tips and tricks of how to get this nice and clean so you'll never have this issue going forward. When you're in a client as well, use the sort by open and balance option here so that then you can see and go to your next customer. From there, you can see if there's any issues, any problems. And again, just add a note, say that amount agreed. Client due to pay next week. Things like that. That will give you confidence that they're right. And one of the most important ones that you should be looking out for though, is any negative figures. So always go down to the bottom of the list. And if you see negative figures, that's a very good indication something's not quite right. That, again, is something you want to be looking at those previous videos for. The same needs to be done on your expenses and suppliers. Do exactly the same thing, open up that open balance, and jump into one of them. Now, again, on the left-hand side, you can sort by opening balances. It's going to give you a list of all of your open balances up here. So you can see them. And then what you want to be doing now is agreeing that this is right. So for example, here I've got my VAT suspense account. I've still got a VAT payment here. Am I right to have put that to suppliers? Probably not. Am I happy that's still outstanding? Well, it was a while ago, so I probably want to think out to that. So here I can put some notes looking into this balance. On the Andrew one, I'm happy that everything's been paid. This one's still outstanding. It was only the other day, so I'm agreed with that one. Now that's just gonna go through and give you confidence those figures. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and put a tick in your reconcile, tick in your debtors and tick in your creditors. And then I only really have one more of a critical one. And this is if you use QuickBooks to record your stock. Now, not all of you is gonna be doing that, but if you do, then what I do is I go to reports, Head over to your sales and customers and you'll notice we have stock valuation figures here and stock take worksheet. If you do your stock take worksheet, this is a really handy way of giving you opportunity to see if these quantity of hands and these values are correct and you can put a little tick next to them. Any issues with that, go to snow, other, stock quantity adjustment and from here you can post if there's any adjustments, what the quantity of hand was, what your new quantity is and it'll calculate the change of quantity for you. Once you've done that, let's just take one last sense check. Now this sense check is all about this area, profit and loss by comparison. So I go back to my QuickBooks, I go reports, and under my profit and loss, I look at my profit and loss comparison. From there, I run my last financial year again, and this is my chance to go through and see am I happy with the comparisons. For example, I can see on the left hand side is what my current income is, and my right hand side is what it was last time. Now the income figures are pretty much exactly the same, I just was better at splitting it this year, so that's good. Cost of sales. My cost of sales have massively increased compared to last year. Am I happy with that? I need to go through these. If I want to see these in more detail, click into them. It's going to open it up for me and then I can go and see individual transactions if I need to. If you want to go one step further with this particular report, don't forget to export it to Excel, dump it into this area here, and then using that traffic light system as well, you can go through and compare and contrast. And that's it. So, the bare minimum that needs to be done. This year-end checklist in the middle, these four questions here, that should be your bare minimum. Is your bank reconciled? Yes or no? If not, get them reconciled. Are your debtors okay? Have a look at the debtors that you have today. Make sure that's agreed to what's happening. Creditors, are they okay? Again, look at it from today's date. Have a look at what's happening. And then if you are looking at stock, have a look at the stock. Again, look at today's date as a comparison. 
but ideally we really want to know your stock as at the year end. If you can do the minimum of those four, you're in a really good place. But if you have the time and you want to really make sure those figures that have been sent on over are correct, 100% right and everything else, then do use both the left-hand panel and the right-hand panel to give you a chance to have a look at what's going on. And there we have it, a way of making sure that what information you send to your client to when you tell your client your accounts are ready, this is your way of making sure that everything is done as it should do. Hopefully, fingers crossed, that's been useful for you. Let me know in the comments, though. Is there anything else that you tend to check before sending over? Is there anything else that you think other people should check as well? Let me know below, and we'll do a follow-up video of what your tips and tricks are going to be. My name's been Aaron Patrick. As always, it's been an absolute pleasure to do this video for you. I'll see you in the next video, and make sure that you get yourself your bank reconciled. Bye for now. Told them I can be a fighter if you want I'll be there to catch you if you fall I can make it brighter when it's dark When it's dark I told them I would do it all for you And I know you do it for me too I can be a fighter if you want If you want now I can be a fighter I can be a fighter Cause I can get him out of my head I don't care what we do, everything's really new Even if we're staying bad My heart is saying yeah, 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 yeah You know I want him now, 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 now My heart is saying yeah, 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 yeah Hello and thank you for watching that video. What you may not know is this channel that you've watched this video from is part of a wider group. That wider group is called Apple Core Production. And the three channels that we have involved are as follows. Aaron Patrick, the QuickBooks chat. Boffix Tax Tip. Finally, we have Apple Core Live and Geeky. All the links and everything are down below in the description. But it really mean a lot to us if you can go and give a like to the other channels as well.